temperature has been great for people who like to get out and enjoy the snow. But as Winston Greeley shows us in this week's outdoor report, too much of a good thing can mean danger in the backcountry. Cook City has a bad reputation as one of the deadliest places in America for avalanches. Every time we have a death, it just shakes this community. It's, it's, it shuts the community down and people stay away. And we don't want that. We want to bring people into our community and we want to make sure that they're safe while they're here. In the past 20 years, snowmobiles have become more advanced and powerful allowing people to travel further into the backcountry and avalanche terrain. Since 1998, there have been 80 fatalities in Montana and 19, so almost 25% were in Cook City. So it gets a lot of traffic, really big terrain there, a lot of snowfall, so just all the ingredients are there to make it a deadly area. To counter the rise of avalanche accidents in Cook City, the Gallatin Avalanche Center partnered with Montana State Parks offers a weekly avalanche safety training throughout the winter. We decided to just implement a weekly program where we would have an instructor give basic awareness talk on Friday nights and talk about avalanche terrain and rescue if something bad does happen and then give a, a weekly conditions update. With snow enthusiasts coming from around the world, this avalanche safety training has been a success. In the two years of the program, there have been no avalanche fatalities in the area. We really feel that these avalanche trainings, the lectures and the infield training is helping. It is saving lives. I'm Winston Greeley, out among Montana's fish, wildlife and parks. The avalanche safety training courses are going on until the end of March.